Hey, hey, it's Neville here. And today I wanna to talk to you about credibility, trust, and social proof. What all of these are is how people show that they're legit. So let's take a look at this guy. Whoa, right? So is this guy rich? Well, he's trying to signal us and give us some social proof that he is rich. I mean, he's got gold chains, gold pendant, a freaking gold shirt, gold cuffs, gold watch, gold rings. Uh, you had me at gold shirt, sir. That is pretty baller. Anyways, let's get started with some examples. Here is a doctor showing proof. He's uh, an old dude. He's got some big old smart looking glasses. He's got a tie on. He's got a shirt on. He's got a thing that says his name with MD on it. He's got the white coat. He's got a bunch of diplomas on the wall. Clearly, this guy's a doctor, right? Uh, turns out he actually fooled everyone into thinking he was a real doctor in California for over 20 years. So this guy's social proof game is pretty strong. Ethics a little bit low, but other than that, social proof is strong. Here's a nightclub showing proof. Now, what is the proof? It's that there's a giant line of people trying to get inside. That signifies to others that this is a place that you want to be and therefore people will wait in line and spend more money and want to go to it and talk about it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is the copywriting course showing proof. This is my own site. So on our about page a long time ago, I just put a couple of numbers that I have that show that this is indeed a legit site. And so you can see all these numbers and people coming to read the about page can see like, oh, okay, this is a real site. This isn't just some rinky dink site. This is something with traffic and people are reading it. This one is a small travel blog run by Mitch, and it's not some really, really, really big travel blog or anything, but it has been featured in a couple of major publications. So at the bottom of the main page, he says it's been in the Globe and Mail, USA Today, and Reader's Digest. So by leveraging trust from recognizable brand names, you can kind of increase your own trust. Here is Amazon showing proof. Nobody wants to waste their time or money on books and products that suck. And Amazon knows this and makes sure to add proof nuggets all throughout the page. So they add quotes that they have. They have ratings. They let you look inside so you can, in fact, see that it's a cool thing. This is a personal trainer showing proof. So you can see that there's free samples of a guy doing some exercises. There's proof in the form of before and after results, which are a very powerful form of proof. There's social proof showing this big old group of people. There's proof of examples of what he's going to show you by showing delicious meals. Here is proof in the form of appearances and uniforms. So take a wild guess. Who's the police officer and who is the nun? Well, clearly the police officer is the guy wearing the hat. It's got the tie. He's got the gun, the flashlight, the belt, the badge. These are all social proofs of that's a cop. And that woman is wearing all the social proofs of a nun, the little headscarf thingy, the big Jesus cross, the robe. All of these say that she's a nun and he's a cop. Here is a barber showing proof. Now, being a barber, you are dealing with a very visual type thing, meaning hair. So instead of describing different hairstyles that you can create as a barber, why not just show them? So this barber is just showing collages of all the different hairstyles he can do. So if you see it and say, I want a hairstyle like that, you could just say, this is the guy for me. Here's a digital nomad showing proof. So if you want to show that you truly do work across the world and work from your laptop with a beer, well, then show yourself working from a laptop from an exotic location with a beer. Here is the way a restaurant is showing proof. So let's say you're walking down the street and you see two pizza shops right next to each other. One has these stickers on the door showing that it was the TripAdvisor winner of the year and that people love us on Yelp, and the other one has no stickers. Well, if that was the only difference, you might go into the one that says it was the winner of the year of the best pizza, right? That's some great social proof. So if you have any of those types of awards, make sure to display them. In fact, a lot of restaurants that haven't won any awards, they simply just display the TripAdvisor logo. They simply just display the Yelp logo. They simply just display the Google Reviews logo just so they are more credible by association, like this beach bar. It just says TripAdvisor on it. There's no like, it didn't win any awards. It just says TripAdvisor and that makes it look more legit. Here is Grant Cardone, this kind of crazy personality guy online that shows that he's really rich and therefore teaches you how to be rich or something like that. So the way he does it is kind of clever because it's something that people can't imitate that well is he bought a private jet, a $50 million jet. 
and he shows it all the time. And it's a pretty socially proof way to show that you do in fact have a lot of money. He has a funny quote on the video where he says, you can fake a Lambo, but you can't fake a private jet. So that is his way of showing that he is indeed a wealthy man by showing off the private jet. Here's a Craigslist seller showing proof. So he's building trust by saying, also my nephew wrote on the front seats with permanent marker, only selling it because I got a new vehicle. Because he's saying that there's something wrong with it, it kind of makes you trust him more that this is a good vehicle, but there's a small defect. And the proof that he's using is he's doing a VIN report and he publicly lists out the VIN report. So you can go check it out for yourself. He's just like, I got nothing to hide. Here's everything about my car. I know it's good condition. Here it is. Here is Bounty, the quicker picker upper showing proof. They have the other brand of paper towels, which are being used to be cleaned up a dirty mess. And oh man, they are all ripped up and gross looking. Whereas one sheet of Bounty has absorbed the entire mess and hasn't even broke a sweat. So if your product is in fact better than the competition, you could just show that. Here's a construction company showing proof of what they can do. They can in fact redo kitchens and they could do it really well. You know how that you know? Because they just show a before and after picture. Before and afters are a great way to show proof. If you sell any service that involves any type of physical transformation, before and after pics are your best friend. Before trusting you, people want to know exactly what you're capable of. So don't make them wonder if you can get the job done. Just show them you can get the job done. Here's me, Neville, showing proof. There's this famous copywriter named Joe Sugarman, and I've hung out with him a couple times. And you know how I show proof that I've hung out with him? I literally just show a picture of me hanging out with him. So I took a bunch of pictures of myself at a conference, and he happened to be there. And so it's a great credibility booster to other copywriters that are like, oh, Sugarman, cool. Here's Airbnb showing proof in a real judo type of way. Instead of them showing proof to someone else that how great Airbnb is, they are telling you that you can get $37 off your first trip if you refer a friend. So imagine your friend recommends you to the service called Airbnb, you're far more likely to use it than if like this random company called Airbnb is like, hey, you should use us. So instead, Airbnb is using its customers to demonstrate proof for them. Clever. Here is a tattoo artist showing proof. And the way that a tattoo artist shows proof is uh, you show pictures of your tattoos. It's just that simple. Any sort of really visual medium you show, don't tell. So their portfolio is not talking about, you know, the history of tattoos, why should you get a tattoo? People already know that stuff about a tattoo by that point. Just show the damn pictures. Here is a person showing proof of how smart they are by just wearing a name of a smart institution like Harvard or Yale. If you attend an elite school or program, you're obviously going to put it on your resume, but why stop there? Names like Harvard create implicit trust, even if that trust has nothing to do with what was studied. Think about it. Say you're buying a used car and find out that the seller went to Harvard. Chances are you'd subconsciously be a little more trusting when he tells you that the car has no mechanical problems. So if you are in any way associated to a respectable name, use it to your advantage. Here is a lawyer billboard showing proof. So if you want to build instant trust, put your money where your mouth is. Offering a risk-free guarantee takes balls, something no sane person would do unless they are confident in their abilities. It's one of the best ways to overcome skepticism. So this guy is saying no fee unless you collect, which makes you think, okay, what do I have to lose? And he must know that he's going to win if he's not going to take any fees. He must know that he's good. And sometimes the literal price of something can be evidence of proof. For example, here is an iPhone 11 and another iPhone 11. One's 160 bucks total. One costs nearly $1,500 total. So it would almost seem like the one that's 160 bucks is gonna be a fake. If you're abroad and in some weird market and someone tries to sell you a $160 iPhone complete, like that's it, no plan, no nothing, you're like, um, this is probably a fake. And the reason is because you know that that phone is worth so much more money. So simply the price of something sometimes can be social proof. This is why a lot of times companies will just raise their prices and oftentimes they'll sell about the same amount or more, but just for a way higher price. And somehow it kind of works to their advantage. By simply increasing their price, people start thinking that your service or product is just much better.
So those are a bunch of cool ways to show that you have credibility, trust, and social proof. I hope you use them wisely and don't use them in some weird scammy way, but instead that you make a great product or a great service and you use this proof to increase the sales to that great product and great service. And if you wanna to talk to us more about your own product and see if the social proof can be improved or if me and some other professional copywriters can go through your pages and punch it up or maybe go through your emails and punch them up to make them a little bit more effective so you make more sales in the long run, then join our members area at copywritingcourse.com. Go there, you could join our email list. We have all sorts of stuff, all sorts of free stuff for you. But if you really want the real cool stuff and you want our physical help, then you can always join our members area and hopefully we'll see you inside. Have a great day. This is Neville Medora signing off. Talk to you later.